Radio Raw here with Freddie Roach, Madison Square Garden. I, you know, I like to say that we live in the same place, but honestly, it seems like we both live on the road quite a bit. Uh, Madison Square Garden is going to be the scene of a huge fight on Saturday night. Obviously, you've got a fighter on the card facing an up-and-coming, what a lot of people consider to be a superstar in Shakur Stevenson. Superstar? <laughs> He's had 10 fights. Well, an up-and-coming superstar. Come on, no? give me a fucking break. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's what the uh, audience wants. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, my mother told me not to swear. <laughs> but uh, I, you know, I, I said to my father, hey, hey, if, we, if we can't be this guy, we don't belong here. And I feel that we belong here in a big way. And my guy's in great shape and he's ready to go. You know how some fighters uh, start their career with a lot of hype. I mean, he had Andre Ward in his corner. Andre was still fighting at the time. He was an Olympian. So that's why people expect quite a bit from him. Oh, what is it that you think people are missing about him that's vulnerable? You know, he's a very long puncher. He needs room. Uh, I think he, uh, the strategy to beat him is very easy. And I, I studied him quite a bit. And, um, you know, he's a, he's a good young fighter, yes. But, again, uh, um, I, I feel so confident here tonight with my fighter. He's ready to go. He's had great sparring, and it, it, it was a new camp for him to be, come to Wild Card. We, and we had a lot of really good sparring partners along the way, and uh, we're 100% ready for this fight. You know, uh, another one of your former fighters has a big hurdle himself Saturday night. Obviously, I'm talking about Amir Khan. And, you know, if you look at the comments and the critics, a lot of them are just trying to figure out what round is the knockout coming. <laughs> Do you see the fight the same way? Well, you know, he, Crawford to me is maybe one of the best fighters in the world. And, um, you know, is, Amir's in a very tough fight. And one thing about Amir is that he still has to learn how to protect himself uh, protect his chin. He, I mean, obviously we know he has a bad chin, but he doesn't know how to protect it because he goes for the knockout himself at some, some point and gets caught. And then you know, he'll win like four rounds, and then he'll get caught, then he'll get caught. But he's been notoriously guilty of doing that for quite a while now. And just go out there and win one round at a time for 12 rounds. That's all he. Has. I think that's all he has to really do. I think that's a better game plan for him. But uh, you know. But uh, I'm not the coach no more, so I mean, <laughs> the thing is, uh, you know, but uh, Amir is, uh, you know, he's a nice guy. He comes by the gym, says hello. He's always nice. I mean, I, you know, I, uh, the way he left me, you know, they, 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 trainers get fired all the time. So <laughs> I'm used it's to that. It's always the trainer's fault, right? Never the uh, fighter. <laughs> I'm used to that. So it's just, uh, it's just one of those things. And someone's got to go and take the blame. And uh, here we are. He says uh, it's not a problem with his chin, it's a problem with his focus and his balance. Uh, you say that, you know, if he stays settled down and, and just wins round after round, he can win the fight. Do you think he wins the fight? Well, he could. I think he's a very good boxer and he has a lot of speed and so forth. You look back in the day like Willie Pep, okay? We're going back a little bit, right? He didn't have a good chin, though, but he knew how to protect his chin. And the thing is, I mean, you go back to those old-time fighters like that, and you can learn off that the, the, those guys, and, and you know, watch and see how they protect themselves and so forth. And they, they they don't put themselves in harm's way. He puts himself in harm's way like way too many times. Because remember that 20-point rule back in the amateurs, where if he's winning by 20 points, you win the fight. Yeah. He used to love that rule. I mean, because he won a lot of amateur fights like that. And I used to tell him as a pro, get that out of your head. Get that out of your head. Stop going for that 20-point rule. It's mm. not effective. It's not. It's not a rule in, in uh, pro boxing. And I think that's still in his head. Yeah, that's interesting, Freddie. I love talking to you because no one else has said that this entire promotion. That's an interesting point. You know, uh, there's yet another guy with a big challenge coming up. You faced uh, Canelo Alvarez, and Danny Jacobs seems like they're calling that fight 50-50. You think it's a 50-50 fight? No. <laughs> no. Uh, Jacobs is a very good fighter, a good boxer, yes. But it, and he, 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 yeah, you got to give him a shot to win a fight because he, he's got that long jab and so forth. But I think he's in there with too strong a guy, and I think the guy will bully him a little bit and um, break him down. And I think stop him in the late rounds. But it, it's a very good fight, though, to watch. You know, people were talking about what might have been a very good fight with Joshua coming to uh, America in, in just a few weeks. Looks like his opponent's fallen out. Uh, a local. New York boy has a PED problem. Uh, 
first of all, uh, what do you think of Bill, Big Baby Miller and that issue? And who's a good replacement for him uh, for his debut in America? You know, the fine isn't strong enough. Let's face it. I mean, they'll chance doing drugs because the fine is so light. Make a find that you're banned for life and nobody will do drugs. Nobody will t- chance doing drugs and getting caught and banned for life. I mean, the, 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 the fine isn't strong enough. I mean, we've got to really, really buckle down. I mean, it's attempted murder almost, you know. I mean, this is a combat sport, and when you're doing drugs to enhance what you have, it's very dangerous. And the thing is, I mean, it shouldn't happen in, the, in this world. And, uh, but that's the world we live in right now. So, but the thing is, eliminate it all, first time banned for life. Couldn't agree more. <laughs> Radio Raheem with Freddie Roach here at Madison Square Garden. Diaz going up against Shakur Stevenson at the Garden on Saturday night. Good luck, man. Always love to talk to you. Love to see you in the corner. Radio Raheem with Freddie Roach.